my name is Erin Reynolds. I am from California, and I am the artist in residence at the Grand Canyon. I, I'm a dancer, <laughs> um, and uh, my research specifically is within site-based dance and dance in kind of unconventional spaces. So, um, and, and then beyond that, a lot of my research is within like the connection of land specifically and body. And so it just made so much sense to come to a national park because a lot of my work is already within natural spaces and with audiences like this who are kind of unexpecting. <laughs> Well, I have been dancing as long as I can remember. Uh, I was actually born with hip dysplasia, so I was feet first baby, somehow survived. <laughs> and, um, but my legs were both out of their sockets for a long period of time. And so as a kid, I, it took me a lot longer to learn how to walk. And I actually um, remember like learning how to move on the floor without my legs. <laughs> <laughs> and some of my first memories are that. And, um, and then as soon as I could walk and as soon as I was out of my casts and done with surgeries and stuff, it was just like, you couldn't stop me. <laughs> and, um, and ever since then, it's just been, you know, moving as much as I can. Uh, when I was in un an undergrad student, um, I tried studying environmental sciences and I did a lot of work and <laughs> I think I was one class away from the degree and um, I just missed dance so much. So I ended up going back and doing dance instead and then um, moving to Europe for a period of time, dancing over there and came back here, did my graduate degree and now I teach and present work as much as I can. You know, as a dancer, a lot of, if that's your career choice, a lot of what you're gonna do is try and as an artist, make as many possibilities work as you can. So you can imagine, you know, I have worked in many community centers across the world and, and I have produced, you know, um, classes in public spaces. And then I've also taught at schools, K through eight, um, high schools. And now I, I teach at the university level, which is my personal favorite <laughs> is teaching at that level where people are just really, interested in engaging philosophically and theoretically with what is movement. Um, and so, yeah, so I teach a lot of dance theory in the university and then also choreography and um, like more general education versions of dance. <laughs> I want to make a dance film, but more than that, I just want to to talk to people and get people to understand that this canyon is full and filled with embodied um, relationships to land. I mean, almost every single person I've talked to who works here, you know, they're out there physically doing things to help manage this land and help um, steward it and make it what it is. And I think if, if nothing else, just talking to these individuals and making them see that what they're doing is the study of movement and the study of movement um, is dance. And, and so that they, they have an integral relationship with this art form all the time. Yeah. I'll give you an example of what's already happening, that's already changing. Uh, is that a lot of individuals that I know that um, are friends or family or people that I don't know going onto my website, reaching out to me, are suddenly realizing that dance, you know, there are dance opportunities here in these types of spaces. And that's really big for the dance world because, you know, historically within the United States, dance has always been like the, the least funded art form and a lot of dancers get really afraid to, to like go outside their own kind of sheltered funding <laughs> um, shells. And, and I'm just seeing all these people reaching out to me being like, oh, this is amazing. Now I'm gonna apply for this residency and I'm gonna go try and do something here. And, um, 
And I think that for me as a teacher is a really big deal. That's a really big impact um, and really changing my own conception of how I'm influencing others and um, how I can positively keep going with that and keep innovating new spaces for dance. Well, I really loved the North Rim. <laughs> I mean, you know, I'm here in the fall and just the colors are gorgeous. And, um, and when I was up there, the lighting was really perfect and I'm doing a lot of filming. So it was really, really lovely. The South Kaibab Trail is beautiful. And uh, the, Her like the Hermit's Trail was absolutely gorgeous. I particularly loved that one. Um, it was a heft coming back up, but it was worth it. <laughs> I think that I talked with Mike Linden a little bit and uh, just, and I've talked with a number of individuals about the work that's being doing, being done here with uh, the indigenous, the many indigenous groups, there's 11 of them, which I'm learning about. And, you know, because of COVID, uh, I can't really get in with them. And that makes a lot of sense and a very good decision. Um, but ultimately, I'm getting to talk to all these people about the different ways that the parks are, are being transformed. And this park in particular, it seems like it's really paving the way for that. And I think for me, with a Cherokee background, that's a really big deal. And um, so it's really inspiring. And it, it helps me feel comfortable moving here and being here um, and doing the work that I'm doing. The biggest advice I would give is to not get down and just keep applying and, and just do it. Just try it, because why not? <laughs>